Hi, a film that I watched last weekend that is apparently going to do very well at this year's awards ceremonies is Guillermo del Toro's Nightmare Alley. Uh, previously filmed and based on novel, it's his follow-up to his Best Picture winner, A Shape of Water. And it's the story of a man who breezes into town in the middle of the Depression um, uh, and gets a job at the local carnival. Uh, he's shown around by the unscrupulous boss and ends up getting a job working as the barker for the clairvoyant act. He learns the tricks and techniques and eventually step, strikes out on his own with a classier nightclub version of uh, the mind-reading performance, but little knowing that his own greed and lack of scruples will be the end of him as his past catches up with him. Um, it's a very good film. I enjoyed it a great deal. But there are caveats. Um, the film is studded with star names. We have uh, Bradley Cooper in the lead, Tony Collette, um, Kate Blanchett, um, Willem Dafoe, Ron Perlman, Richard Jenkins, David Strathern. Um, I'm sure there's a couple of other big names in there that I've forgotten already, but it's it's lousy with stars. And it's a gorgeous looking production. Uh, the, the set design, the costume design, the photography, everything is just beautiful and perfect. It has a, a griminess and a grit and a nastiness to it, uh, but it still has a, an attractive level of, uh, of, uh, of grime, a, um, a seductive patina of dirt and mud. Um, but all for that, and despite it, as I say, being an entertaining story, well told and well produced, it still feels rather shallow. Uh, it's a story about a man who's greedy and the greed catches up with him, as they, they tend to in, in noir stories, which tend to be populated by characters who can only be measured by how ruthless and unscrupulous and murderous they are. Um, the worse they are, the more likely they are to come out on top or to fall from grace and um, wind up in some hellhole uh, and it's only those who separate themselves entirely from this world who wind up uh, having any soul left at all so with that in mind it's very much a standard noir type piece but the carnival setting and the the stage magic uh, concept within the story gives it something a bit more different than a standard private eye story it's in no way a private eye story i think it's a mistake to assume that the two that and uh, noir are interchangeable um but as i say although it's uh, an attractive film it's a very well acted film um it's an engaging story it's nearly two and a half hours long but i only looked at my watch once because i'm sure that it must, it must be drawing to a close fairly soon um it is just not much more than that, which is a shame. Um, Del Toro's films tend not to be, I find, tremendously deep. I think Pan's Labyrinth is really quite straightforward. Um, and that's his most celebrated work. Uh, the Shape of Water, again, is it's a romance between two misfits, and Del Toro loves monsters. Um, here it's about a human monster and his crimes and how these crimes catch up with him in this world of magic and mystery, which is really just all smoke and mirrors. So I'd recommend it, but one needs to remember, this is not some work of high art. This is an old fashioned style noir epic movie. Um, it's entertaining, it's thrilling. And then 20 minutes after you've finished watching it, you will barely remember any of it.